Hello, my name is Nigel Gould and I'm a Capra Beef and Sheep Advisor. Today I will introduce you to John and Catherine Carruthers Farm and show a few short videos on land improvement being carried out. John is in a Capra Suckler Beef Business Development Group while Catherine is in a Beef Finisher Group. The farm consists of 100 acres of heavy clay ground. Much of the land is north facing and 130 metres above sea level. John and Catherine took over the farm in 1998 and the farm was in poor condition. Since then, the Crothers have drained and improved the land and adapted their system to suit their land type. Nearly 95 acres have been drained since taking over the farm. 45 acres of this was done initially using conventional drainage, with the most recent 50 acres being drained using gravel moulds. Land was then receded using the conventional plough method. The gravel moulds work similar to ordinary moulds but insert clean stone into the channel to improve the lifespan of the channels. Clean stone is fed into the hopper which falls down into the channel through the rear of the shank below. The bullet to the front underneath the shank along with the shank is pulled through the ground to create the channel. The channel is 16 to 18 inches deep and filled to within 6 inches of the surface. 6 mm stone was used by the Carruthers, 10 mm is usually used. The gravel moulds are pulled through collector drains usually 20 to 40 metres apart. The Carruthers have increased this to 40 to 60 metres as their land has a good slope. The gravel moulds themselves are about 1.5 metres apart. In this video, don't confuse the dry line of clay from burying water pipe with the collector drain. The collector is a further 3 to 4 metres up. It takes this 3 metres or so before the shank and bullet are at the correct depth. Fields were receded after the drainage. One of the main issues on farm was the low soil fertility in the form of low P and K indices, which were generally about zero and one P and K respectively. In general, the target would be two plus and two minus for P and K respectively. pH was also low on farm, between 5.1 to 5.2 generally, and the target is 6.3. Lime was spread on farm over a number of years. At any one time, a total maximum uh, recommended dressing at one time would be three tons per acre. Due to the uh, the heavier nature of John's farm, two tons per acre was spread at any one time. One of the issues on farm as well, due to the nature of the soils, is compaction. And a local contractor with a sword lifter has been used to alleviate compaction on farm. So this machine works down to 16 to 18 inches and it lifts the ground to create fissures and improve aeration. You can see from the video some stones are being pulled up so in excessively stony ground this type of work may not be suitable. Keep their land in good condition, the Carruthers have adapted their systems to suit their land type. In general, there used to be around 25 suckler cows on the farm, and initially when land was being done up, on-off grazing was practiced to prevent poaching and minimize damage to the ground. A bull beef system was operated alongside the suckler system, with uh, weaning bulls being purchased in and finished at under 16 months. And the main focus here was to make use of the quality silage that was produced from the receded swords. Generally, bulls were fed ad lib silage and were finished on approximately 7 to 8 kilos of concentrate maximum. B 
Beef cross dairy cattle, mainly Angus and Hereford crosses, have been brought into the farm to make the most of the receded swords without causing any poaching damage. Rotational grazing is practiced on farm. Um, at the moment, a batch of 18 month old uh, steers and a batch of calves is running on farm. The rule of thumb is to graze at the three leaf stage for three days and graze again in three weeks. Plate meters used by the crawlers to measure grass. Their target pre grazing cover is 2,800 kg dry matter per hectare, with a target post grazing cover of 1,600 kg dry matter per hectare. Any surplus grass from paddocks is bailed out at grass silage. Take home messages are that artificial drainage will improve your land and extend the shoulders of the grazing season on heavy soils, but there is a significant investment involved. To protect this investment, it, care and thought really needs to be taken into how to manage these types of soils in the future. Good soil P and K indices, in addition to targeted P and K fertilizer applications, are key to maintaining productive swards into the future. Rotational grazing will increase your grass growth and quality and utilization. A key point is that you need to match your system to your land type and your resources available.